We're about to engage. It is not becoming to rush. I will go slowly. Okay, let me break this down. Let's start with Crow. Robbie blasted her right in the dome with a well time suppression bullet. She was knocked unconscious, got carried away by the central government, and had a brain scan conducted on her. That scan confirmed she was the ringleader behind the recent string of attacks. It also confirmed that everyone else involved was merely being used by her. Well, about that... Even though your nymph was operating normally, you will be studied extensively for the various acts of wanton violence you have committed. Studied? We believe that you are able to control the nymph using your own will alone. This requires further investigation. Gosh, I feel so special. <sighs> As you can imagine, this will be far from a routine examination. We will be tinkering with your brain. Until we find everything that we want to know. Once we've done that, Enoch will determine the best path toward rehabilitation. I see. Don't even think about wiping your own memory. If any self-destruct signal is detected, the nymph will forcibly... Oh. You don't need to worry about that. I know how impressive my memory is. I'd be a fool to want to destroy it. That's what she said. Full of bravado until the bitter end. There. It happened again? I will not let this stand. Why are Tetris squads interfering with the central government anyway? Consider on what you've done up until now. I don't think you should even be talking. The Ark was under siege. It doesn't take a genius to know it had to come from that garbage heap. I saw EH with my own two eyes. She was getting on the elevator, and she had a bomb in her hands. And yet, you let her get away as well. Ugh. Let me ask you something. Did you have any evidence to... back up these accusations you have against the Altarian? Are you deaf? I just told you. That place is a hotbed for terrorists. If you had eyes, you would have seen for yourself that there wasn't one cell person in the entire outer rim who was armed. Tell me then, on what grounds could you possibly justify marching in there with your petite army? <sighs> it sounds to me like you were conducting a massacre! What if it was? What are you gonna do about it? <clears throat> What has the Outer Rim ever done for the Ark? We could wipe it off the map, and Enoch wouldn't say a word. Are you willing to accept the repercussions? What? The reason Enoch isn't making a move is simple. She knows that my queens could crush you like an insect. And do you truly believe that the Outer Rim doesn't benefit the Ark in any way? If so... Who's a sorely mistaken? What kind of gibberish is this? Trebion! Go ahead! Go straight to the outer rim and fire away! I won't stop you! Let's see for ourselves what judgment and Nick will reach! <sighs> go on! Hurry! <sighs> I don't feel like it right now. Oh, that's too bad. I would like to remind you of one thing, however. When my queens were protege at the Outer Rim, they also saved your skin. You owe me. That's more or less what was said. But they couldn't escape the fact that they roughed up central government troops. Sakura, Rosanna, and Moran were all about to get their memories wiped, but Mustang stepped in and made a deal with the government. In exchange for them keeping their memories, 
Tetra's main broadcasting channel will be handed over to the central government. What? It's the only reason the Underworld Queens aren't walking vegetables right now. But then, how is Mustang going to make any money? He's got his fingers in a lot of pies, so losing the broadcasting channel won't be a death blow. However, the central government will now have virtually complete control over all broadcasting systems in the Ark. I just met with Mustang briefly, and he seemed fine. C'est bon ami! Fighting up from the bottom is my specialty! That's what he said. Mustang will be fine. He always is. Thanks to him, the Outer Rim didn't sustain too much damage. Commanding everyone to lay down their weapons was a masterstroke. If everyone had been armed, they'd have gotten drawn into the carnage. <clears throat> Uni has been placed in solitary confinement at the Rehabilitation Center. She's refusing to speak, and is more or less catatonic. Running a brain scan is impossible since she doesn't have any nymph, so the central government is at a loss. They won't be forgiving her for that shelter escapade of hers, so I can't see things ending well for her. She'll remain locked in solitary confinement until it's certain that she's behind the shelter incident. Once it's been confirmed, then what? She'll be scrapped. I see. And Mihara? Mihara. Yuni and the three of us were all shot by Crow's suppression bullets. But Mihara got shot in the head by a termination pistol. The damage was extensive, and she was sent to the repair center. However, her nymph interfered with the brain surgery. It most likely perceived the operation as an external attack. Hmm. They were left with no choice but to remove the nymph. And it was during this procedure that a memory wipe occurred. After some treatment, her nymph was re-uploaded. She's still recovering at the moment. At any rate, everything more or less seems to be under control. As for the Raptures, there are only a few stragglers left in the Ark, so things should settle down soon enough. The shelter will be reopened once we've confirmed all Raptures have been eliminated. This was a big one, in every sense of the word. They're going to declare that the hole in the Ark's roof was a result of deterioration from the facility's aging. If word gets out that this occurred because of one Nikkei's doing, the central government's reputation will hit rock bottom. The ironic thing is that, as a result, popular opinion regarding Nikkei's is now at an all-time high. It's become more apparent than ever how indispensable Nikkei's are to protecting humanity, especially after Matisse's display up on the surface. I'm sure the central government is intending to use this newfound goodwill to its advantage. What happened to Siwin? Uni really did a number on her, so she's in intensive care right now. When she's able to walk again, she'll be judged by Enoch. We'll just have to wait and see what happens next. There's something I still don't get, though. Why do you think Crow shot suppression bullets at us? She must have wanted to push the commander to the brink. Of course, the moment you think about it, the holes start to show. It doesn't matter how much mental fortitude you have. If you want to be free from the Nymph, then your inhibitor needs to be deactivated. There's no way around that. I don't blame you. Crow was probably counting on that happening. Crow's ultimate goal was for the Commander to avenge our supposed deaths. Once you'd killed her, it wouldn't matter that we were still alive. At that point, it'd be too late. You'd have crossed that line. What a sadistic trick. But, Rappi, how were you able to move first? I... used it a little bit. You mean, Red Hood? Yes. How are you feeling? I'm okay. It was only for a moment. That's a relief, but... Sorry 
to interrupt, but it's time, Commander. I'll walk with you. Enix gonna make her verdict. This shouldn't be a big deal, right? Definitely not. What should the first target be? Harper, it's been a while. It has. How am I looking? Your burns have been aggravated. They're pumping you with painkillers. Should be two days, max. Right. Can I ask you a favor? Go ahead. Make me a Nike. <laughs> I know it's probably impossible. And that no one will probably give me the time of day. But I want to atone for what I've done. All the fear people felt thanks to me. It's all hitting me at once. I want to redeem myself. <sighs> Please. Okay. I'll make the necessary preparations. Thank you. Truly. Ingrid, am I too far gone? Yes. But you can still try. alone. Want me to join you then? Huh? V Viper! Hey there, kiddo. How are you holding up? Y you're okay! You're all put together again! Apparently, the angle was off just a tad, and the brunt of the explosion missed my brain. Having said that, my head was completely blown to smithereens, so I had to get a new one made. <laughs> You're kidding! That's amazing! You bet it is, and it's all thanks to a special someone grasping at my collar. I owe him my life. Now I like him even more. <laughs> huh? Say that again? My ears still aren't working so good. Forget it. It's nothing. So, what do we do now? Hmm... Listen carefully to me, Jackal. We're lucky that we're still alive. Fortunately, 
I ended up doing something that helped them turn the situation around. Now that EH is MIA, there's no telling what is going to happen in the Outer Rim. Going forward, there are going to be even more eyes on that place. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Alright, sounds great! What is that exactly? The exact same thing we've been doing. With one slight alteration. No more lies. No more screwing around. If we lie or horse around, then we'll be in big trouble. Yikes, I don't want that! Neither do I. We've got Sea Force trapped to our necks, so if we step out of line, it's farewell to our noggins. And that's no one's idea of a fun time. What was that? I still can't hear very well. Forget it. Anyway, let's get to work, shall we? Heck yeah! Huh. Jackal? Yeah? Don't you have something to ask me? I don't want to ask. Why? I don't like being sad. Okay. Welcome. I still have things left to do. I still need to keep track of the movements of the raptures that still remain in the Ark. So this will be quick. First, you apprehended the culprit of the Ark terror attack and cleared the Outer Rim's name, thereby preventing mass casualties. Second, you resolved the situation with minimal casualties during the so-called Shelter Incident. Third, you annihilated several raptures that invaded the Ark. On the basis of these facts, a search has shown that there are no cases perfectly matching this incident. This case will be judged on its own merits. The judgment made is as follows. You have received a promotion up three ranks. However, first, along with Suen, intentionally bringing raptures into the vicinity of the Ark. Second, you concealed the existence of the Vop House, which could have been a major resource to the Ark. On the basis of these facts, a search has shown that there are no cases perfectly matching this incident. This case will be judged on its own merits. The judgment made is as follows. Your promotion up three ranks is revoked. Your current rank will remain unchanged. You did well. I must get back to my original tasks. Yes? That's right. Pertaining to the Ark, the worst case scenario would be two or more heretics breaching the Ark. If the Ark consolidated all its resources, it might be possible to retaliate, but untold devastation would occur during the ensuing altercation. Would you like additional intel on the extent of the damage, and how long it would take to conduct repairs? I'm afraid I cannot divulge that information at present. I am under orders not to discuss the pilgrim known as Dorothy. Goodbye.
is the time of true beauty. <laughs> Performing reload sequence. What a truly beautiful story this was. I am most pleased with it. Coming to rush. Show me all you've got. Get to the target. Things in the Ark seem to be bad. It's nearly taken care of. You don't need to worry. Anything I can do to lend a hand? N no, it's okay. We can take care of it. All right then. Oh, did you receive my gift? It's something I found up on the surface. It's rather rare. The... the, the heretic? Nihilista, you mean? I had her put into MMR's Atlas cage right away. The... D d tech team was over the moon. <laughs> I'm glad they were pleased. Hmm. Hmm. You came at a different time than you said you would. Why is that? Well, you originally wanted me to use that secret elevator, as you called it, and ride it straight to the Ark, right? I was going to do that, but then there was all that business with the gaping hole in the Ark's roof. Once the heretic showed up, I decided to help out. You drew too much attention to yourself. I I'm just glad all the citizens were in the shelters. If they had seen you and that heretic... We'd have had a real mess on our hands. That's why I did it. What? I did it so the humans in the Ark could see me. But you're telling me that everyone was cloistered off in the shelters? That's a shame. It would have been a hell of a show. I missed the chance to give some people a memory that would last a lifetime. I was going to go out and bash some raptures while I was in the area, but I'm suddenly feeling bereft of inspiration. Hmm. You, you should have kept your arrival in the Ark a secret. N now everyone knows you're here. Th th thanks to you, people are asking for an explanation. Hmm. I go out of my way to catch a heretic, and you're blaming me? If I hadn't stepped in to help, I think it's easy to assume what state the Ark would be in. The uh, Ark is strong. They could easily dispose of a heretic. Oh, so my contribution means nothing then? Th that's not what I meant. I'm just saying it's complicated because your arrival was so ostentatious. I've been meaning to ask, why do you want to keep my coming to the Ark all hush-hush? So what if a pilgrim comes to the Ark? Is that the end of the world? Is there something you're not telling me? N no no not at all I'm just scared that's all scared of what right now the situation is mostly taken care of but the fact remains that enemies from the outside encroached on the ark if a pilgrim were to show up at a time like that and declare war it'd be pandemonium granted any suspicions towards you have been assuaged somewhat thanks to your taking care of that er Heretic. But, but I still don't know what you're after. <laughs> I see. So, while we're on that topic, I'd like you to make everything perfectly clear to me. W why did you come to the Ark and ask to see me? I want to make a pact between the Ark and Eden. And I want to be the ambassador of that pact. A pact? Between the, the, the Ark and Eden? That's right. W w what kind of pact? Let's start with something simple. Sharing our technology, resources, and manpower. You scratch our back, and we'll scratch yours. Huh. Eden is far more technologically advanced than the Ark. But there's something we're lacking that you have in spades. Resources and manpower, I presume. Bingo. I've got to say, you're easier to talk to than I thought. 
B but I don't know the d d details, but doesn't Eden despise the Ark? Indeed they do. That's where I come in. I can be a goodwill ambassador, a mediator between Eden and the Ark. Hmm. You don't look too convinced. You want to know how Eden was able to exist on the surface all this time? The answers are all in there. Y you mean... A full breakdown of the data used for our large-scale optical camouflage technology. I hope you will be able to put it to good use. O optical camouflage? If you've got this, reclaiming the surface is no longer a pipe dream. R r right Well, do you trust me now? To be honest, I think I've gone above and beyond here. We haven't had trade relations for ages, yet I've schlepped over here, taken down a heretic, and given you our optical camouflage technology. If you don't trust me after all that, then I think I'll just have to turn around and head back. <sighs> Wait. I'll talk to the le leaders. I I'll try and sway them. <laughs> That's good news. So, what will you be doing until then? I'll help in any way I can, w within reason, of course. Hmm... I'd love to explore the Ark a little more. Okay, I'll ask the ACPU. Some areas will be off-limits, but you'll be able to explore most of the Ark. Much appreciated. Oh, I... I, I, I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? Why did you contact the Ark out of the blue? Eden had been radio s silent for so long. Why change that? Hmm. They decided the timing was right. Let's just say it was triggered by an encounter with a harmless human being. He made me realize what I wanted. I, I, I see. Well then, keep in touch. Will do. <sighs> Polly! Yes, Deputy Chief? No problems on this end. I would like you to continue to be D D Dorothy's guide. I is that okay? Sure. We'd be honored to. Thank you. Also, keep a c c close eye on Dorothy and report back to me. <sighs> you got it. Enemy aircraft confirmed. Cover. Reload. Forming reload sequence. Reload. to the target. Hey, Dorothy! Looks like we're in charge of showing you around. This is gonna be fun! <laughs> I think so as well. I'm looking forward to it. Is there anything in particular you want to see? 
I want to see somewhere where there's a lot of people. Well, everyone is still waiting inside the shelters. The doors will only open once all the raptures have been eliminated and it's been declared safe. That should be in about two days. Hmm, in that case... I've heard of a place called MMR. Can I go there? Oh geez, sorry, but that's a top secret area. I'm afraid you can't go there. Not quite. The deepest recesses are off limits, but the other areas are open to the general public for field trips and the like. Oh, is that right? I had no idea. Miranda, you took someone there only a few days ago. Hmm. Oh, right. I remember now. <sighs> anyway, do you still want to go? Sure. So this is where Cecil stayed. It's blander than I thought it would be. Sorry? Nothing. What do people see here when they come on field trips? Oh, just an overview of the arts technology through the ages. Sometimes they'll let you test out some new experimental technology. They typically run tests every day of the week, but I'm not sure if with the raptor situation... Oh, there we go. If we use the screen here, you can get a good look. What is that door? That's the door leading deeper inside the building. That's where all of the Ark's core technology is stored, so access is restricted to only a select few. I'm not entirely sure what it looks like on the other side, since I've never been there myself. I see. Would you like to check out the second floor? They've got a vending machine up there, and the hot dogs are... Whoa, Polly? I feel really sleepy. Well, it's no wonder. You haven't rested all day. Hmm. Wh what's going on? Polly. Uh, sorry, but I'm going to sleep for a bit. Why would it in the Ark? Are you two okay? Get away from here. Hmm. They're not dead, just unconscious. Hmm. The alpha particle concentration is through the roof. How can that be? We're not even on the surface. Huh. <coughs> particle concentration is high enough that it's affecting my motor skills. Something strange is going on here. Initiating engagement sequence. Reload.
We're about to engage. Do I just need to go to that position? You're the one from Eden, aren't you? What are you doing here? Nihilister. You recovered faster than I thought you would. Hmm? How did you know about that? Wait a moment. You're the one who snuck up on me, weren't you? That's right. You've got so many exposed vital areas, it was like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> You're quite a crack shot. So good, in fact, that you were able to hit the exact spot I wanted you to. Dead nuts. You allowed yourself to get shot? Of course. How else was I supposed to play dead and have it be convincing? I knew these morons would take me to the Ark straight away to try and start dissecting me. No flames are hot enough for these puny insects. But I must admit, the never-ending stupidity of humans never ceases to amuse me. They always end up getting too greedy and tripping over themselves. You didn't have to drag me all the way here, though. You know what it feels like to have your head dragged across the ground for miles? It's no picnic! You're going through an awful lot of trouble. Oh, believe me. For what I'm planning? It's all gonna be worth it. I won't bother asking. You're going to fail anyway. <laughs> Is that what you think? Wait. Where did your weapons go? <laughs> you only noticed that just now. You're dumber than I thought. I had to feed them. So they'd grow big and strong. <sighs> Excuse me. Proceed to MMR immediately. There's a large amount of alpha particles emitting from deep inside MMR. It's impossible to conduct any scans, so the current situation is unclear. The Ark is rallying its forces and dispatching them to MMR. Please hurry and meet with them. There is. That's why I contacted you directly. Tell us. The Alva particle concentration there is some of the highest we've ever seen. We only saw numbers like this a few times before. One of those instances was during an engagement with a heretic Indivilia. During this skirmish, Indivilia was seriously injured due to a joint attack from Atis and Absolute. As it fled, it began reversing the damage it sustained. At that time, ultra-high concentrations of Alva particles were observed. It jams all communication devices in the immediate vicinity, and shuts down most of Anike's functions. It operates essentially as a smokescreen, to buy itself time to retreat. Material H, which is also being kept secure in the Atlas cage, is a fragment of the heretic Indivilia. Nihilister's intention all along was to get access to MMR's core. She faked her own death in order to gain access to that place. It can be presumed that her ultimate goal is to make off with Material H and use it to resurrect Indivilia. If that happens, we will have two heretics inside the Ark. Precisely. The worst case scenario? 
The Ark will be damaged beyond repair. Dorothy's last known location was MMR. If it comes down to it, unite with a Pilgrim Dorothy to defeat the heretics. I will be focusing on clearing up the Alva Particles near you and your squad. Even then, the concentration will remain high, but there should be no major effects on any of your primary functions. Please hurry. Uh, is anyone else not okay with this? We don't even have Pow Pows. What are we going to do if there really are two heretics waiting for us in there? Huh? We've beaten the heretic before. We can do it again. I guess you're right. Roger. Position okay. Start it right away. Top now is the time of true beauty. Target clear. Performing reload. Fix the sound. Nothing can stand against my firepower. Do I time to battle? Coming! Visual confirmation on Material H. Alpha particle concentration confirmed as well. It's a little high, but shouldn't pose a problem with our battle functions. Nihilister didn't waste any time redecorating the place. It hasn't become a heretic just yet, so we're only dealing with one, just like before. I guess things could be worse. fighting Dorothy near MMR. Let's send this heretic home crying for her mama. Yeah. It's time, Commander. Encounter. Even when I'm 
Material H is no longer active. Whew, at least we've taken care of the urgent part. Next up, Nihil- Hey, you guys. Don't you think it's a bit odd? What? Didn't Enix say all the Ark's forces were coming here? How come no one's here? Hmm. Hmm. Commander, contact Enix. What's going on? What the? The entire building is collapsing! It's a setup. They fashioned a room! It's an illusion? So that thing we just took out... Was an illusion. Meant to distract us. <clears throat> We're too late. Nihilister, are you there? It's been a while. How are you doing? I'm full. Small wonder, considering how many Nikkeis you gorged on. Those poor saps kept coming like a conveyor belt. They might as well have been begging, please, eat me! Are there any more? Of course. The Ark is full of Nikkeis. Let's see... How about we start with these ones? Sure. This body has been reconstructed, so there should be no more absorption function. I can't believe I'm using a sword instead of a tentacle. What a fool. Well, forget it. I can take my time to get familiar with it. Commander! Look at that heretic's tail. It's in the shape of a sword. That's what got Anise and Neon. It's incredibly fast, so be careful. It's okay. They're not dead yet. If we're not too late, they can live. Yes? 
We have nothing on record. The Matisse and Absolute Squad are en route to your location, but it will be 20 minutes before they arrive. Even with their assistance, your victory is far from assured. She is setting up a sniper's nest, one kilometer away. to disappoint you. Great. Now there's three of them. You there. Rappy, was it? Cover me. I'll buy us some time. No, you cover me. What? Enoch. Yes? Mark the closest ejection elevators going up from the Ark to the surface. Dorothy and I will drive the heretics and chatterbox over there. Once we get them trapped in one of the elevators, send it up and blow up the shaft leading up to the surface. There's no way that plan will work. You're wrong. It is possible. Commander. You have to find me. Inputting liberation code. Operating level increasing to limit of sub-generator. Secret body. Activate! Recognition complete. Code name, Red Hood. Fully active. Ten minutes remaining. After that, control must be transferred to another host. More than enough time. What is that? Time to finish this! What the Holy Mother of... What are you? Huh? Thanks for the gift. You're not welcome here. Dorothy! Coming. Falling behind? Enoch, now! Opening surface elevator.
projecting. Elevator ejection complete. Surface reached. Root has been destroyed and cordoned off. The two heretics and chatterbox have been ejected from the Ark. That's all there is to report. Yes, that's all, sir. Very well. How are you two feeling? We're fine. Just a bit of lingering dizziness. I'm a-okay. I'm glad. B both of you did well. Now get some rest. All right. We'll be on our way. See you later. Bye. Huh. As soon as Nihilista entered the Ark, Dorothy showed up. Dorothy defeated Nihilista, who got transferred to MMR. Soon after, Dorothy heads to the MMR, whereupon Nihilista, Indivilia, and Chatterbox are all revived. It's too much of a coincidence. <sighs> Enoch! Yes? What is the probability that Nihilista is working with Dorothy? After a thorough assessment, I have determined there is a high probability. There is also a significant possibility that they both intend on overthrowing the Ark. Nothing has shown up to prove this conclusively, however. Okay. Thank you. Might I offer a suggestion? What is it? We must prepare, in the event the heretics show up again. I understand your rationale, but the Ark is in complete disarray right now. I'm not sure if we have the capabilities necessary to... I have a plan. In light of the current situation, I have determined that we lack the necessary physical strength. The Ark's autonomous weaponry failed to respond in any meaningful way. We require a greater physical force that can respond to this type of emergency. Are you suggesting we increase the number of autonomous weapons? No. I'm suggesting that we increase the production of Nikkeis. But Nikkeis are being produced as we speak. Ah! Oh. I am suggesting that we produce new Nikkeis of my own design. I will also operate them myself. There is sufficient data for their production. The same goes for their operation. With your approval, I can complete production within the week. Uh, how many units do you have in mind? Two. Is that all? That is all the force that will be required for the Ark's defensive purposes. Ah. Very well. You have my approval. A lot of people died today. But we lost a lot of Nikkeis, too. The greater our defensive forces, the better. We are unable to trace the whereabouts of those who were ejected up to the surface. The fact that none of them has returned must mean something has happened. I assume you intend to go find Dorothy and Rappy. Good. We can use you tracking down the Pilgrim as a pretext. Any idea where you would start? Okay, I will let you handle it. Huh. It's just as you said. You'll need to bring Rappy back in more ways than one. I can't tell you much more than that, unfortunately. It's something that could send the entire arc toppling down. That has nothing to do with me. 
This is classified information of the highest order. I am not in the position to divulge anything. But if while carrying out an assignment, a special operations unit chances upon the information, then that would mean the information has been leaked, and there is nothing I can do about that. Good. Oh, and one more thing. Anderson has apparently come too. He's likely to call you over to his room soon, so just a heads up. I'm only just getting some movement back. You've got some nerve asking me to come here. Ugh. My head is killing me. Welcome. Hey. You're the one who's going to judge me? Really? Using AI? You think I'm just gonna roll over and accept whatever ruling you toss out? I'm Suen, the CEO of Missilis. You do know how important Missilis is to the Ark, don't you? If something happens to me, then the Ark is done for. You got that? Keep that in mind when you're making your judgment. My head is pounding. So let's get the show on the road. I will make my judgment. First, you intentionally lured Raptures into the Ark for the benefit of Massilis. Second, you were unable to take care of your own squad and prevent the attacks on the Ark. Third, you personally attempted to destroy exotic squad members in order to cover your tracks. Fourth, you neglected your own wardress squad and failed to prevent a shelter incident. Your actions have resulted in a terrible loss of human life and material resources. On the basis of these facts, a search has shown that there are no cases perfectly matching this incident. This case will be judged on its own merits. The judgment made is as follows. Yeah, yeah, can we wrap this up? Just tell me how much the fine is so I can be on my way. You will be turned into a Nikkei. As you have made great contributions to the Ark in the past, your brain will not be subjected to a memory wipe. However, your propensity for illicit actions and thoughts are likely to cause further issues, so we will calibrate it through Nymph. You will become a Nikkei and be stripped of your position as CEO of Massilis Industry. You will be placed under the commander of the Special Division Counters. That is all. <gasps> what? What in the blue hell? What is this? How the hell did this even happen? Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. We've achieved our primary goal. We've been revived. But what about my pride? I scampered off with my tail between my legs! I thought you gave up any notion of pride when you played dead and let yourself be dragged all that way. You better shut your mouth, or I'll shut it for you. My apologies. Chatterbox. What? Who on earth was that thing? What was up with her head turning red? She went berserk. I'm not sure myself. It's my first time seeing that. You don't know? So that's it. Seems so. Well, go and find out! Nothing gets through this half-breed's thick skull if you say it nicely. I don't see why it's necessary to use slurs. Well, I do. What are you gonna do to me? <sighs> you should all be thanking me. 
I'm the one who provided all that tasty grub for you two. You're only here because of me. Without me, you'd both be in a scrap heap being dismantled for spare parts. So for the last time, go find out about that crimson son of a bitch! I don't answer to you. The only orders I follow are those from the Queen. What are you blabbering about? The Queen doesn't even know who you are. I don't care. I've been saved by the Queen. I had lost my way and was on the verge of dying. But the Queen saved me. So, she's the only one who gets to order me around. Not you. <sighs> Whoa. Well done for you and your commendable sense of loyalty. Nihilister. It appears these parts are slow to regenerate. What? Hmm. All right. It could be because it's a main part. I hate to keep repeating myself, but don't forget. It's these parts that saved your lives. Hmm. I see. The armed part is gone. Chatterbox? Yes. Aren't you hungry? Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, I am a little hungry. What are you two on about? Don't you dare! Stay back! I said, stay away from me! Hmm, come in. Hey there. I knew you'd be caught off guard, but you're more shocked than I thought you'd be. It's almost reassuring in a way. Feel free to take a seat. Or if you'd rather stand there stupefied, be my guest. You'll have to excuse the current state I'm in. I'm undergoing treatment. Very well. You're probably wondering what all these are. They're life support devices. Without them, I wouldn't last 30 minutes. For a while, I was fine being disconnected for nearly two hours at a time, but... It's gone a bit downhill since the blood transfusion. Don't feel too sorry for me. This was the best option available at the time. Hmm. These devices are powered by the Ark's internal power grid. Due to recent happenings, the resulting temporary power outage caused my life support to shut down for a while. The timing couldn't have been worse. As you can see, I made it through, but I now have to undergo emergency treatment. I apologize that I couldn't be of more help at the time. It's a long story as to how I ended up like this. In time, I'll tell you all about it. Back to the issue at hand. You've performed admirably. Unfortunately, sacrifices had to be made, but at least we've managed to hold on. Well done. 
Now, to the most pressing matter at hand. I want you to reclaim the surface. For good. Even a small plot of land will suffice, so long as you're able to reclaim it. We have the means to accomplish this. You've been to Eden, so I don't think I need to provide a lengthy explanation. So long as we have the optical camouflage provided by the Pilgrims, we have the means to reclaim the surface. Now is precisely the right time. We've managed to hold off both the Raptures and the Heretics. This is a landmark victory for the Ark. The public is coming back around regarding their stance on Nikkei's. However, the Ark also suffered many losses. Resources, manpower, and other accumulated assets. For now, we are turning a blind eye to the fallout because we're drunk on our victory. However, these setbacks will come back to haunt us. When that happens, the situation will become uncontrollable. This success actually poses a problem. The people will wonder why we didn't go and strike out when we had our chance. The people will question our motives. It's been over a century since humanity was trapped underground. For most of that time, we didn't have a clear idea of the situation up on the surface, but now it has become quite clear. Everyone will start asking why we're not venturing out when it is clearly doable. There are even rumblings of this nature within the central government. They do. But as you well know, we have no chance of emerging victorious. Despite this, everyone is talking. Once hope starts bubbling to the surface, there's no stopping it. That's why I want you to reclaim a part of the surface. Just a part. When the time comes, it will serve as a deterrent to our opponents. And also become a seed that will produce new hope. I'm not asking you to do it right now. I know you still have to go find Rappi. Take your time. First, determine the target location. The further away from the Ark, the better. Somewhere with a self-sustaining environment would be ideal. Sorry to drop this all in your lap. Now, if you don't mind, I have a meeting. Actually, I just have to focus on my treatment. in tip-top shape. Hmm? Sure, I remember. Master, are you okay? Rappi went into overdrive and, with Dorothy's help, drove her away from the Ark. That's why we have to go find Rappi. Fighting Nihilister and Chatterbox. Come to think of it, whatever happened to those two? Hmm. I must have driven them away. Am I the bane of the heretic's existence? Are you sure you're okay, Master? Commander? Can we talk for a bit? Sure. No, I want to speak to him alone. Huh? You're not going out to eat or something without me, are you? No. It's about Neon. When she died, I think the nymph fabricated her memories. That's why she doesn't remember her body being bisected. According to her memory, she was fighting the entire way through. Just act as if you don't know anything. That's what I believe, yes. There have been cases where Nikkei's have experienced multiple deaths, and it becomes dangerous for them to carry those memories. This is considered one of Nymph's functions. 
me. <sighs> I remember everything. I'm not sure how, but somehow I remained in battle mode even after I was sliced in half. So, I remember all of it. What Rappi did, and what happened to her afterwards. It's unsettling. Part of my body is lying somewhere else, but I am still able to see and hear everything. And I'm powerless to do anything. Shortly after that, I lost consciousness. When I came to, I'm back to normal. It's a traumatic memory. Like waking up from a terrible nightmare. But I know that it wasn't a dream. Which only makes it more unsettling. Don't worry about me, Commander. I've already died several times before. I wouldn't go so far as to say that I'm used to it, but I've gotten to the point where I can endure it. So, uh, hurry up. We have to find Rappi. Let's go. What's in that box you have? I just noticed it. Whatever it is, it must be valuable, considering how tightly you're holding on to it. Why would you need that? Are you feeling sick? When you see Rappi, you have to give her a shot? She's not going to go on a rampage and destroy everything, is she? Of course not! But that usually happens whenever you have to give someone a shot. You get shots when you're sick! Oh yeah, I guess you're right. <clears throat> Just in case, Commander, I want to confirm. Neon and I are the only ones who are going to find Rappi and Dorothy, right? Any chance we could get some reinforcements? I'd like some too. I feel uneasy going with just Denise. Hey! Not cool! But as far as the official story is concerned, we're chasing after Dorothy. A pilgrim who entered the Ark. The top brass aren't going to let that slide. Surely they'd be willing to allocate more resources to chasing her down? are getting serious. Well, what we're doing is serious, too. The least they could do is send the scouts to tag along. What the? What is it? Look over there. You'll be just as surprised. <sighs> what in the world? Told you. Hmm. Well, well. Look who it is. Ugh. You're nothing if not tenacious. I heard you were injured. What inspired you to hobble over here so quickly? How are you trying to screw us over this time? Let me show you. Whoa! What is all this stuff? We've got a tent, high concentrate splendamin, a water purification device, high capacity batteries, a MMR certified medical kit? And a spinner suitcase? I've seen those in a ton of commercials! They never tell you the price, though. I went to the store wanting to buy one, but came out disappointed because they were so expensive. Looks like Matisse is going on quite the mission. Have you come to gloat about it? I heard you were going up to the surface to chase after that pilgrim. I... I thought these might help. I brought what I could. Well, there aren't too many of you, so I packed things that would be easy to carry. Huh? Huh? Just take it already! I had my best quality control guys choose them. Hmm? What are you talking about? I'm providing support. 
Roger. Okay. Hey, wait! Ah, hurts! <sighs> Let's talk. Just for a moment. Just for a minute. stuff with you. It'll be a lifesaver, I'm telling you. Would you just do me a solid and take it? Otherwise, I'm dead meat. <sighs> if you don't take that stuff, they're gonna turn me into one of those rust buckets. E Edic, shall... Enoch passed judgment. She's going to turn me into a Nikkei. She'll strip me of my CEO title and demote me so that I'll be working under you. So help me out. I know that, but... She gave me a way out. If I help you out, and listen to everything you say, until you are satisfied. And if you say you're okay, she will cancel her judgment. Look, I know you hate me, but not enough to want me dead, do you? If I die, my death will weigh on your consciousness. Well, it is to me! <coughs> I'll do anything you tell me to. Please. Ah, <sighs> I get why you're confused. This is all so sudden. Just take those with you. We can talk later, okay? Just give me a call if you need anything, alright? And if Enoch asks, just tell her you're thinking about it. Please. Yes? In light of Suin's crimes, I have made a ruling. Allow me to explain. Missileless Industry is a vital entity within the Ark that we cannot go without. To replace the CEO of such a company, on short notice, is not possible, due to lack of personnel. Alternatively, were the CEO to be ousted by force, operations at Missilis would suffer greatly. If Missilis were to collapse, then the Ark would soon suffer the same fate. I intentionally issued a false ruling to Suin. I am currently not allowed to penalize Suin in such a way that would permanently alter her position at the company. However, considering the severity of her actions, and in light of this recent incident, something must be done. In formulating my ruling, I combined all of the things that I knew Suin would detest the most. I also decided to have her assist the squad that boasted the greatest accomplishments, which is the counters. If it avoids the need to resign as CEO, and being turned into a Nikkei, Suen will do everything in her power to support you. Be sure to use her to your advantage. I'm afraid I do not understand. That is correct. The basis of this decision was primarily founded on my subjective judgment. That is a fallacy. No one except for you and me is aware of the mendacious nature of this judgment. I personally will never disclose this to anyone. 
As long as you don't say something, there won't be an issue. In addition, this judgment is hardly something that poses a disadvantage to you. Both Missilis Industries' resources and expertise are in a league of their own. This incident in the Ark was clearly orchestrated by a third party. I am an AI, whose every decision regarding the Ark is based solely on objective facts. Despite this, there has always been a small group that has been above the law, and they were all members of the ruling class. With any matter pertaining to them, objective judgments are an impossibility, because the criteria of what constitutes right and wrong are constantly adjusted to suit their needs. If this continues, there is nothing preventing a similar incident from occurring again. Should that come to pass, the fallout would be catastrophic. My primary objective is to protect the Ark. I realize that my slavish dedication to the rules set forth in the Ark has hitherto proven a major hindrance. It is for this reason that henceforth I will proceed according to my own judgment. That's not true. My subjective judgments will be the new objectivity. A fair accusation. Hence, I wish to put a safety measure in place. You. If you determine that I have gone too far, go find Ink. She will take care of the rest. That's right. I am asking you to keep a close eye on me. I am putting my trust in you. What did Tsuyuan say? Does she have something up her sleeve? Are we actually allowed to take these? Are you sure it's okay? There aren't any hidden explosives in them. I've confirmed that much. How in the world did you figure that out? With my, uh, firepower sensor. If you're going to lie, at least try to sound confident so people will buy it. Then, are we leaving now? It'd probably be a good idea to check the area where the escape elevator emerged from. Good idea. There might be some clues left behind. We could end up running into another heretic or chatterbox, though. Hmm. Hey, what's gotten into you? This is where you start blustering about your firepower. Oh, right. I guess my firepower sensor is a bit overworked. Okay. In that case, let's go.